Ah, it's a new year, and a new year often means new commitments, resolutions to change for the better. And for many, those resolutions include eating better and getting in shape. But for some people, weight loss is more of a desperate obsession than a healthy goal. And they would go to lengths so extreme, you just might lose your appetite. <sighs> In the 1970s, Dr. Robert Lynn, an osteopath from Pennsylvania, formulated a fasting program for his heavier patients in which they ate nothing except for a protein-rich substance known as prolin. But prolin was anything but mouthwatering or nutritious. Dr. Lin's book, The Last Chance Diet, When Everything Else Has Failed, instructs dieters to eat nothing except for the specially formulated liquid protein Prolin, which only delivered around 400 calories per day. Consumers forked over $15 for each quart of Prolin, completely unaware of its ingredients, ground up animal horns, hides, tendons, hooves, bones, and other slaughterhouse byproducts, with a dash of artificial flavors and colorings. But the book sold over 2.5 million copies, earning Lynn $40 million in profit. However, Lynn was the only one who seemed to profit, as 58 reports of death associated with the diet surfaced. Many died from abnormal heart rhythms, and the FDA launched an official investigation and even considered a ban. Luckily, the bad press caused the fad to waste away. When people are looking to drop weight before a high school reunion or an upcoming wedding, quick solutions are desired. Since the 1980s, one diet promises you will drop 10 pounds in one week, simply by consuming large quantities of cabbage soup. Two to three meals a day consist of cabbage soup, but fruits, veggies, beef, and tomatoes can also be added later on. Since the soup is low in fat and calories, many people see results simply from the lack of calorie consumption. But the diet isn't a long-term solution for burning away the pounds. Cabbage soup lacks vital nutrients, complex carbohydrates, and proteins. In addition, most of the weight lost from this diet is solely water weight, meaning once the dieter returns to their normal eating, they'll likely gain all the weight back. Aside from the complaints of the bland taste, some dieters have reported a lack of energy, mental fog, feeling weak and lightheaded. Other side effects include possible heartburn, bad breath, and headaches, all for the sake of trying to lose weight fast. An art dealer named Horace Fletcher was known as the Great Masticator in 1903 after he lost 40 pounds under the motto, Nature will castigate those who don't masticate, meaning it benefits one to fully chew their food. His method, known as Fletcherizing, begins with chewing each mouthful of food 32 times, essentially liquefying the solid food before spitting it back out. Fletcher claimed that one absorbs the nutrients from chewing, but takes in none of the bulk of the food, thus maintaining nutritional health and also losing weight. Fletcher also promoted chewing liquids and avoiding food during angry or sad emotional times. He claimed the method would turn a pitiable glutton into an intelligent epicurean. While chewing your food a certain number of times might promote mindful eating, it also could lead to disordered eating behaviors, a lack of nutrients, and a lack of physical health. Fletcher himself died at 69 from bronchitis, likely due to a weakened immune system from essentially starving himself. Though he was a millionaire, money couldn't buy him health or more time. If you aren't awake, you aren't eating is the slogan for the Sleeping Beauty Diet, in which one sleeps to lose weight. But you may find that after sleeping most of the day, you won't feel rested or lighter. The claim is that sleeping for days at a time with only the occasional single meal regulates metabolism and boosts weight loss. However, with so few calories, the body actually enters starvation mode, which slows the metabolism. Sedative drugs may be needed in order to induce such long bouts of sleep, medications that can sometimes have addictive qualities. 
The Sleeping Beauty diet is both impractical and dangerous. In addition to the lack of nutrition, oversleeping is linked to an increased risk of death, heart disease, and diabetes. Other side effects could include hallucinations, dizziness, impaired speech, mood swings, and headaches. While there have been various rumors that Elvis Presley was associated with this diet, its origins are murky at best. But many believe it was derived from a novel titled Valley of the Dolls, in which one of the characters swears by this method to melt the pounds away. Eating nothing usually falls under the category of an eating disorder, but practitioners of breatharianism believe it is possible to survive by consuming only oxygen and sunlight, all in the name of higher consciousness through meditation. Breatharians believe they can survive alone on prana, the vital life force derived through sunlight. Some advocate the gradual reduction of consumption of food from vegetarianism to veganism to raw foods, liquids, then nothing but breath and sunlight. Though fasting and meditation are known spiritual practices, the Breatharian Institute of America run by Wiley Brooks is where Breatharianism began. Though joining the Institute or taking one of Wiley's courses will set you back anywhere from 10 to 25 million dollars. Wiley himself claims to be a practitioner, but occasionally allows himself a cheeseburger and Diet Coke. He reasons that by consuming the junk culture and food he's surrounded by, he is balanced. But balanced or not, at least three people have died from this starvation diet. The dehydration alone can cause a buildup of toxins in the blood, organ failure, seizures, irreversible brain damage, and death. Medical professionals consider this method of losing weight highly dangerous and the product of lethal pseudoscience and nothing more. When British physician Albert T.W. Simeons promoted a human hormone supplement for weight loss known as human chorionic gonadotropin, or HCG for short, many bought into the fad and regretted it. Believers claim injecting or taking HCG through oral drops resets the metabolism and allows the dieter to lose up to one pound per day over the course of eight weeks without any negative side effects. The dieter is also only to take in 500 calories per day in two meals containing a protein, veggie, and bread. At such a caloric deficit, weight loss occurs, but HCG offers no benefits. The hormone appears in women during the early months of a pregnancy, but doctors say there is no evidence that HCG aids weight loss. Not only is it ineffective, but used as a diet supplement, it is illegal, as the FDA has only approved its use in regards to fertility treatment, and the potential side effects might explain why. HCG could cause gynecomastia, the abnormal growth of large breasts in males. In addition to mood alterations, headaches, and high blood pressure, the diet adds fatigue, depression, and risk of blood clots to the list. It's common sense that ingesting non-edible substances is ill-advised and dangerous, which is why the cotton ball diet is so ludicrous. Allegedly originating in the modeling industry, the trend took to YouTube and Facebook, where people ate cotton balls to maintain a thin figure. Allegedly, by soaking five cotton balls in gelatin or orange juice and eating them as an appetite suppressant or as a meal replacement, one feels full without ingesting any calories and gaining the added benefit of fiber. But aside from the fact it deprives the body of any nutrients, it can also be incredibly dangerous. Consuming any object that isn't food can lead to intestinal blockages, and a diet such as this also promotes disordered behavior and an unhealthy relationship with food. Practitioners could be doing irreversible damage to their bodies as blockages can result in dehydration, internal damage, nutritional deficit, nausea, cramps, and diarrhea. In addition, this diet can lead to thinning hair and bleeding gums. Not exactly standards of beauty if you're wanting to be a model. No drugs, no surgery, no hunger. This is what the KE diet promises, with claims you'll lose weight by ingesting the KE diet powder composed of protein, nutrients, fats, and water. The catch is it must be administered through a feeding tube for 10 days. 
Developed by a doctor in 2011, only one clinic in Florida offers the doctor-affiliated treatment and the KE substance. The diet's website boasts that KE provides all the essential nutrients while also quelling the appetite. It promises losing around 20 pounds in 10 days is easy because the body burns fat at an intensified rate due to the feeding tube delivery. During treatment, solid food is not allowed. The tube must remain in place for 23 hours a day and laxatives might be necessary to deal with the post-diet constipation. Doctors say weight loss is bound to happen since the KE substance only administers around 800 calories per day, but the price tag, empty promises, and possible side effects are not worth it. For only $1,500, you could suffer from bad breath, kidney stones, dehydration, dizziness, headaches, and fatigue. Or you could face a lung infection or gastrointestinal bleeding from the feeding tube. And for all your trouble, like most crash diets, you'll likely gain the weight back. The dream diet, to be able to consume delicious food without the side effect of actually packing on the pounds. If it sounds too good to be true, that's because it is. But practitioners of the tapeworm diet claim the parasite can help you do just that. Advocates must first ingest a tapeworm, which is normally an unwanted parasite. It attaches itself to the digestive tract and steals food and nutrients from the host while laying its eggs, and it can survive there for up to 20 years. Since importing tapeworms to the U.S. is illegal, some people travel to tapeworm farms in Mexico where they are safely injected with the parasite for the price of $1,500, while others swallow a tapeworm pill. For all the trouble, the tapeworm allegedly helps hosts lose one to two pounds per week. Dr. Michael Mosley, who purposefully infected himself with a tapeworm to test the diet, actually found he was hungrier and gained weight during his experiment. But this is a parasite you don't want to mess around with. Tapeworms can find their way to other parts of the body, including the brain, which can be fatal. In addition, the tapeworm can cause abdominal pain, weakness, headaches, nausea, and diarrhea. And for most of us, many many nightmares. In 1959, historians were shocked to find six mummified Buddhist monks in the Yamagata prefecture of Japan. Humidity and mummification generally don't mix, so naturally, scientists wanted to know the process, but were horrified to learn the monks had mummified themselves. The Shingon monks of Japan believe Soku Shinbutsu, or self-mummification, led to a higher, enlightened state and earned the monk over a million years in one of the Buddhist heavens. But reaching eternal life wasn't a painless task and involved a toxic diet. Over 3,000 days, monks consumed only nuts and fruits, then only pine needles and bark. They eventually stopped drinking liquids entirely, slowly dehydrating themselves. However, the liquids they did indulge in were poisonous. They drank tea made from an urushi tree, the sap from which is most often used in lacquer varnish, and water from the sacred spring of Udono Mountain, which contained deadly concentrations of arsenic. Both the toxic substances stayed in the body post-mortem, making the remains distasteful to any insects. When the monk was near death, he sealed himself in a tomb. There, the monk would meditate, ringing a bell daily to let those on the outside know he was still alive. When the bell stopped ringing, the tomb was shut. If the monk successfully completed the self-mummification process, his remains were taken to the temple, and he was revered as a living Buddha. Though many hundreds of monks attempted self-mummification, to date only 16 to 24 mummified bodies have been uncovered. Thank you for watching. Now be sure to press here to watch another video. And of course, don't forget to press above to subscribe to my channel, because you won't want to miss what's next. And I'll see you next time.